Hi there. Now in this video I want to show you how we go about using limits when it comes to integrating something by parts. And to demonstrate this, I've got this example here where we've got to integrate x cos x with respect to x between the limits x equals 0 and x equals pi upon 2 radians. Now to save time, all we do is we just do this exactly the same as we've done the previous ones. If you've been watching other videos in this series, you'd know that we would label the x u and the cosine of x dv by dx. And if we carry out integration by parts here, then you end up with this solution. Now, this would be called a general solution because it's got the constant c in. Now, when it's got the limits, though, what we do is we put the limits around the outside like so. OK, I'm just going to have square brackets here. And those limits are going from x equals 0 to x equals pi upon 2 radians. And I'll do the same on this line here. OK, so we just put those in again going from naught to pi upon 2. But then when it comes to this line, because it's now a definite integral, we wouldn't have the constant c in. So that can go and we just close off our bracket there. OK, so naught to pi upon 2 again. And so it's just a question now of putting our limits in. So starting with pi upon 2, We'll have a bracket here as well. Starting with pi upon 2, we're going to have pi upon 2 then multiplied by the sine of pi upon 2. And then we've got plus the cosine of pi upon 2. And then if we close that bracket, it's minus, and then we'll put 0 through. So for the first one here, 0 times anything is just going to be 0. So I'll just put that as 0. And then we've got plus the cosine of 0. And close that bracket off. So what have we got? Well, pi upon 2 times the sine of pi upon 2. Sine of pi upon 2 is 1. So we're just going to have pi upon 2 there. And then cosine of pi upon 2 is 0. So forget about that one. And then we've just got here the cosine of 0, which is 1. So we've got minus 1. And there's our answer. OK, so shouldn't be too difficult just to handle questions with limits then. Just do it as normal, but make sure you put your limits on the outside. OK.